This is the real deal when it comes to pure talent. Mm -hmm. You may recognize him from playing Jude in Brahms, the boy too, young Billy in Stranger Things, hello. And then Martin in Gotham. And he is not done just yet. Now he's adding another character to his resume. How come I've never heard of you? Hey, don't be rude. I'm serious. You've never mentioned Uncle Max before. I've been away. Like where? Okay, ease up on the questions. Max is probably tired. How'd you get that black eye? Why'd you finish your pizza in your room? I thought I'm not allowed to eat in my room. Well, this is an exception. Wow, that's good acting. Christopher Convery is making his mark on the great white way. You can catch him in the new movie, Prisoner's Daughter, alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, as you can see right oh, there. Uh, yeah, we see, I see three big names in Hollywood. I, so right do there. I. Christopher Convery, welcome to New York Living. Yeah, thank you for having me here. This we is... are so excited to have you here. A, do you want a puppy? Yes, for sure. Okay, Another we'll talk. one would be great. We'll talk later. <laughs> Maybe we'll give you both. <laughs> we, like, exactly. we love watching stars watch themselves. Um, when you see that clip, what is your reaction? I mean, what are you thinking? Yeah, it's crazy. I filmed that like two years ago, and it's crazy how much like I've, I've changed. I think, but also you've grown like, up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No black eye. No black eye. <laughs> That's right. But uh, yeah, the movie was super awesome. It's cool to see that. Yeah, and like working with Brian Cox, especially, and uh, like you know, it's like being a master class on set with him. And wow. like, like when you're in the scene with him, like it doesn't feel like he's your grand. Like it, it feels like he's your grandfather. Like it doesn't feel like you're acting. Right. Like it feels like he's my grandpa. And oh um, like working with Kate as well, she's yeah, Kate such, a, she an icon. such an like there's a lot of emotion in her acting, and like she really brought out my performance as well. And Catherine Hardwick, amazing director, like she really right. like, has a vision for what she wants, yeah. but like she also really gives the actors room to like explore their characters. So everybody was super cool involved in the movie. He's talking like a veteran. Uh, I He's want Brian Cox to be my real life grandfather. Me too. Logan <laughs> Roy. Logan Roy. Well, not Logan Roy. <laughs> Brian Cox. I don't want to be anywhere near Logan Roy. True. I might die. True. But let's start from the beginning because obviously you were very young, but you have done so much already. So take us to the, take us to the, the way back. Yeah. Uh, do you do you remember your first acting gig? How old were you? What was it? Yeah, I do. So I was seven, and uh -huh. like I was about to turn eight years old, and I auditioned for Kinky Boots, the Broadway mm -hmm. show. That's right. Um, for the principal role, Young Charlie, and it was directed by Jerry Mitchell, and um, I flew to New York, I, I did the audition, and I stayed overnight, and I ended up getting it. So I did that for two years. There you oh are. My oh my gosh. <laughs> First acting role. Yeah. Broadway. Kinky Boots on Broadway. But, and then after that, while I was doing that, I went to, my first TV role actually was the pilot of Succession. So who knew, like five years no later. No way. That, like it was full circle to Brian Cox and me and Prisoner's Daughter. <laughs> So That's kind of So you creepy. were part of the pilot. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. I'm like bullying Greg or something. Oh, no. <laughs> like everybody else on the show. <laughs> That's right. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god, Greg. What a great experience. Okay, so let's talk about the Prisoner's Daughter. What is the premise of the play from that scene where it looks like you're having a meal? It looks looks like there might be some secrets running around. Yeah, up. so it's about a grandfather who fights the love of his grandson and daughter after serving 12 years in prison and mm. Brian's the grandfather, my mom's Kate Beckinsale, and it's like a really beautiful, dark, dramatic movie, and like it, it, it talks about like family dynamic and like family struggle, and like my character Ezra, he goes through a lot of the movie, and he has like a lot of layers to him, and he's he's like smart, he's funny, um, and he just goes through so much, and it's a really heavy movie, and I think mm -hmm. people are really gonna connect to the movie, like you know, like emotionally and with like the family and everything, so. Yeah, it's super great. Yeah. Now, I know you said he almost felt like he was your real-life grandfather, not just playing it on the screen, but you, you mentioned it's dark, it's heavy. What was that process like for you? I can't even I can't watch, like, the true... I can't even really dive into stuff like that. So to have to commit fully to that Every role... Day. What was the step-back process like, like, the debrief to kind well, of... Yeah, so, you know, like, I just always, like, try to put myself in the character's shoes and, like, what he'd be going through and just had her, like, relate it to my real life, but... Like off, you know, like when it's not rolling, like me, Ryan, and Kate were always laughing and having a blast. <laughs> you you need to, I'd I imagine, for yeah. something like that. You have done a lot in your young years. In addition to acting, we understand you're also in a band. Yeah, <clears throat> I am. You have a rock band. Uh, what is it called? It's called Thrive. Thrive. You know what? Let's give it a listen. Thrive, please, ladies and gentlemen. Please. Okay, okay. When, when was this? Where was this? We need details. 
So, um, two months ago, I wanted to start a band, because, you know, like, the writer's strike is going on and Yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. And um, I thought it'd be great to do that, and we and my friends got together, and I kind of just wanted to, like, do a show right away, because we were really good. These are your friends from real life? Yeah, they're all my friends. Yeah, this is the, got in, together the really IRL bad. friends in real life. I can't, I'm oh, trying yeah. to think of who I would, would call up to, to be in a band <laughs> if I wanted to start a <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary. What am I, what? <laughs> I'll play the spoons. I'll play the kazoo. <laughs> Where yeah, does the so, talent end? Yeah, so, so you gather your yeah, homeboys. So we did that, and then um, we we performed at the space in Las Vegas, and it ended up being Full House, which was really what? cool. And we did music like uh, U2, Van Halen, you saw there, uh, uh, yeah. Bon Jovi, The Doors, Pink Floyd. Um, so I love that type of music. And You're in so... Really? Yes. Where did your love of that type of music come from? Well, like, my, my parents really loved that music, and they were always playing it. Mm. And, like, in, sometimes mm -hmm. at the beginning, I didn't... Like, I wasn't... Like, I was like, oh, what is this? But, like, when I listened to it, like, I mean, U2's my favorite band. U2 like, is. Like, when I compare it to, like, I don't know, like, newer stuff, like, it's just, like, so epic, these yeah. songs. I don't like I think it's you've, been, you've been raised right. Yes. yes. You've been raised Bravo, I don't, wherever your right. parents are, bravo to them. <laughs> the classics Thank only. You. Okay, so we're going to play a quick game. First of all, don't quit the band and don't quit acting. I won't. Just I, keep on doing everything. I love, my son also has a band. I see a collaboration Oh, awesome. <gasps> What, what, does he, what does he do? Does he play instrument? He, he plays the uh, guitar. He's the oh, lead awesome. singer, and he also plays piano. And he composes. Wow. He'll write you a song. Oh my god! Okay. I, he will totally write fantastic. you a song. This is this is uh, history cool. being made right here on this couch. I can't, well, since you're not inviting me into your band, I gotta. <laughs> I, I, I can gotta. start a band, please. Uh, We're gonna play a game. Our guests used to live in New York City yeah. for some time, obviously, while on Broadway and then beyond. So we're gonna do some rapid fire, New okay. York City centric yeah. yes. for you. Ready? Favorite food to eat and where? Sushi at Yellowtail for sure. That was like no <laughs> thought required. I, I love sushi. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, don't answer that, anybody. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No, because thank what, you. Thank you. That's what, you don't even have to. It's fine. No, no. <laughs> you heard it. I'm not the only one that thinks it's disgusting. This, it's this so Broadway useless. and elevator it's star. It's useless, exactly. And, and movie star, thank you. <laughs> What's your favorite go to song? Sunday Bloody Sunday by you 2 for sure. <laughs> They raised some right. They raised some right. All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Favorite Broadway show? Spoonie Todd for sure. I love that. Did you see it? I'm gonna see it Saturday, but I, I sound, I've seen it before. It's, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Like the so plot is really cool. Oh, yeah. and you're gonna see it Saturday with Josh and Annalie Ashford. That's oh my right. god. Oh, my oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Favorite baseball team? Yankees or Mets? Yankees. That's fine. We can still be friends. <laughs> That's my you like the Mets? She I work for, for the Mets. Mets. Oh. Because she, she also has two jobs. Well, I've heard the Mets are like the underdogs. They are the underdog. Yeah. But much Yankees like are just us. like. It's a Goliath. legacy. It's a legacy team. Yes. Christopher, thank you so much. Yeah. You are so, so talented. Thank you. Don't forget about us when Please. you become even more Come famous. Come back and I visit. Won't. You guys are awesome. Thank we have you. someone give Let us know when your next show is. We will invite you guys. We'll be in the front row. I'll yes. play the kazoo. <laughs> and by the way, folks, <laughs> yeah, President's daughter. <laughs> Stop inviting yourself into his band. It's out in theaters tomorrow, <laughs> Friday. Run, don't, run, don't walk. Uh.